All right, welcome back. Now we're going to have some fun and do a, a demo, but first we're going to see the tools we're going to be demoing in the system. So here are some of the higher order function tools that you may have never seen, that may have never even explored in the palette. Um, the top row, as you see, are kind of the gray borders. You can actually drag that out as an isolated thing. We'll talk about what that means. Um, you can also click the right arrow on those gray borders to get input names and actually have some declared official inputs on those guys, formal inputs. You also have the very common yellow blocks, run, launch, and call, and we'll talk about what those are now, all right? So let's now look at a couple of first issues. Under uh, operators is where the gray border guys live, okay? So let's pull these out and kind of pay attention to them, okay? So here's the gray borders, and you say, whoops, I put the same over twice. Here, put, put this guy here, all right? So let's get this guy here, okay? And I might even put a zoom. I might even actually do a nice zoom here, actually give you a little bit more zoom, and give you some of that here, look at that. I might even give it, because I'm, I'm in a good mood today. So, and also, by the way, since we're not gonna use the screen very much, I'm gonna take this and click, hold shift down and click this button, and boink, now I have a lot more scripts area to work with, okay. So these are three blocks that are able to take a normal block, like this one, which might be one plus two, okay? And I click on this, what happens? Three. What happens when I drag that into the gray border? What does that return when I click that and evaluate that? What do you think it's gonna do? It looks like it returns itself. And what it's doing, it's a really beautiful graphical way of saying that return value, if you ask me what the return value is, I say the following. Listen, listen to every word that I say here. The return value of that expression is a function of no argument that calls one and two and reports whatever one and two does, okay? One plus two has not been called yet, but it is a function of no arguments whose body is one plus two, which then gets called when you evaluate the body and returns a three, okay? So that's what it is. If I were to do this, watch this. This, I'm gonna now duplicate this guy, and if I take the one away, let's click this again. What happens here? What's that? That's a function of one argument that takes the argument, adds one to it, and returns the value. That's the plus one operator. We can watch, let's write this. That return value is exactly the same as if I went to here, and I went to reporter, and I say plus one, and I give it an X, and I say plus one of X, and what does it report? It reports this. Right? I'm going to duplicate that and there, okay? Apply. Plus one of x is identical. I typed it wrong. Let me type it right. Okay? Plus, I should type plus one, right? Plus one. Okay, plus one. Apply. Okay? This, this return value is identical. Now, they're not the same deep down, but they do the same thing as what that is right here. It's returning that. Like, what do you mean it's returning that? Let me show you. First, I'm gonna say call. So I'm gonna show you how to do the call guy. That's under control. And under control, I can call this. So I'm gonna pull the call guy, and I call takes a function, and then takes arguments. So I could call plus one on 10 by just saying it there. I click the button, and I get, whoa, uh oh. I should probably put an X in here, yeah? That was testing, I was testing you. That was testing you, okay, good. <laughs> Apply, okay, 11, right? You agree plus one gives you 11, right? This is live, this is have some fun here, okay? Now watch this. Another way to do this is to say what? Look, let's actually take this by itself and let's call the plus one function, click this arrow with inputs, 10. And these two are identical. Let's, let's try it, the top guy, 11, the bottom guy, call that with the input 10. 11, identical, okay? So now, I'm gonna make a new variable. I'm gonna call it plus one uh, using gray, okay? There's plus one using gray. Set, 
plus 1 using gray to be this thing. I'm going to blow your mind, okay? Let's watch this. Put this over here. So we have this in the background. You know what plus 1 is, wants to be, right? I'm just trying to show you the very simplest function of plus 1 wants to be. Plus 1 using gray. Ready? Boink. And plus 1 is now that. And you can actually see it over here. If I show you full screen, ah, show you full screen. Ah, this is one of the problems of the thing. Okay, I have to do this. I have to do this. This is a little bit of a take me. Okay, this has to be on the screen that way for me to do this. There, plus one using gray is that, right? I mean, that's nothing magical. Plus one using gray is whatever the return value was. That's plus one using gray. So I argue, watch, stay with me, that plus one using gray is exactly the same as plus one. Let's try it. So let's duplicate this, duplicate this, and I say call plus one now. This is like that. Now they're a little different. Here's why they're different. Plus one, I can't, uh, I have to have a gray border around plus one to say, I don't want you to evaluate it right now. I want you to pass the function itself to you. Okay? So this gray border is the function that takes one, takes in a single input, and calls plus one with that, and then returns that value. So I argue that this is this, these are the same thing. So watch, plus one using gray is a variable set to that. So the gray border is already around it. So I don't need to add another gray border here. That's, that's the reason why it's stripped away. Let's try it. Top guy, 11. Bottom guy, 11. Applause here. So anyway, the point is, that's kind of cool. Plus one using gray is exactly the same as plus one. OK? So that's kind of cool. So there's my plus one. That's how to use the gray border to do things. And you can wrap gray borders around um, these expressions also. You can wrap gray borders, uh, you can wrap gray borders around commands, and you can wrap gray borders around predicates. Okay? So that's the end of this short video explaining about this gray border. I've shown you call. We're going to have another video in a second that talks about how to use uh, more powerful functions that even might return a value.